everyone. Welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program, and we greatly appreciate you being a part of the show today. We've got a lot of guests on, and we're very happy to have Chip Patterson. Chip is the executive director of the First Tee Organization in New Orleans. Amanda McPhillan is the assistant director for the New Orleans Historic Museum, and she's going to talk about a movie that was made in Morgan City back in 1918. We've got uh, just some great information on a lot of movie history. Adele Bergman, Adele is with the Belleville Assisted Living. Johnny Dominano is at the Men's Club for Metairie Academy and Advanced Studies. They've got a golf tournament coming up, and he's going to talk about how you can be a part of that. And finally, our good friend Jeremy Terrio. Jeremy is Cox Public, Public Affairs Specialist out of Baton Rouge, and Jeremy is in charge of a program we call Cox Conserves Heroes. He does a great job with that program. It's our second year, and he's going to talk about how you can decide who the winner is. So uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Again, Steve Sawyer, your host today. Greatly appreciate you being with us today. And we've got a wonderful first guest. Chip Patterson is the new executive director at the First Tee Organization. Chip, welcome to the show. Thanks for having welcome me. Welcome to appreciate New it. Orleans. Welcome to the First Tee. <laughs> new to everything here. <laughs> We're the welcome wagon right, here. Right, exactly. <laughs> Chip, let's talk about, uh, I, I, honestly, I don't think we've had anybody on the show uh, representing the First Tee before. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what First Tee is, mm -hmm. the mission of your organization, and some of the things you guys get involved Absolutely. in. Absolutely. First, I mean, thanks for having us on, obviously. Um, we've been a little dormant the last couple of years. Uh, we've been without a full-time executive director now for almost two years, um, but I started with the organization back in November. Um, for people that don't know, the First Tee is a youth development organization, and our mission is basically to provide character education and teach life skills and healthy habits, and we do that through the game of golf. Mm -hmm. So golf is the platform that we deliver all of our character ed and life skills and healthy habits programs. Now, are, are there age limits for the kids, or do you have, like, I mean, it's more, I, I guess I want to say it's more than just golf instruction. So right. if, I, if I want my kid to learn how to play golf, I mean, that's part of it, but mm -hmm. then again, there's more to it. Oh, yeah, and we tell people all the time, we're not a golf organization. I mean, like I said, we're a, a sports-based youth development organization that really focuses on the character education and the life skills and, and healthy habits and lifetime fitness mm -hmm. uh, is really at the, the core of our mission. Uh, and we just deliver that platform through the game of golf because it's such a great vehicle to be able to reach kids. Uh, we work with kids age five to 18. So our goal is to get the kids as young as possible into our programs. Um, and, and as parents know, no kid wants to sign up for an after school program that says, we're gonna teach you character education. You know, <laughs> no kids are interested in showing up for something like that. So, uh, but what you let them know, there's gonna be a game involved like golf that's really addicting to kids once they get out there. Yeah. Um, then it's easy to teach, you know, a lot of these life skills and a lot of the first tee core values like honesty and integrity and perseverance. And you teach these healthy habits, whether it's nutrition or fitness or interpersonal relationships, all of that is really easy to deliver through a golf-oriented mm -hmm. program. Um, so we let parents know that right off the bat. Uh, if you're looking for a, a you know a top junior golf program, there are lots of those around the area. Uh, but we're more of an introductory program, and we're we're going to teach kids other things besides just the game of golf. Um, we have PGA certified instructors that are teaching the instruction and teaching the programs, and they're really good golf mm -hmm. instructors. Uh, but there's just more to our curriculum than just the game of golf. Yeah, and, and Luke Farabaugh is a good friend of the show and mm -hmm. uh, general manager at TPC. And I know a lot of, uh, he's very, very gracious to allow you guys to use the TPC facility. And I mean, what a great place for kids to go learn the game of golf, character skills at the TPC. Absolutely. I mean, Luke is fantastic. He really gets it and understands what the first he is all about. Um, you know, the First Tee is a national organization. There's 200 chapters uh, internationally and nationwide. Uh, they all have the same mission. Um, it's, it's to teach kids to be better people and to do that through the game of golf. And a guy like Luke really understands mm -hmm. that um, there, there's more to the game of golf. There, there's, it's a great teaching vehicle to be able to reach kids um, that would otherwise never have access to a course like the TPC Absolutely. Absolutely. of Louisiana. I mean, we get I know a lot of out. adults that can't even right, go to the exactly. TPC. Right, <laughs> exactly. And, and that's one of our goals is to kind of break down that barrier. A lot of people see golf as this elite sport that's unaccessible um, if you're not, you know, in the higher socioeconomic status. Uh, but we really kind of break down those barriers for any participant that wants to go through our program. Mm -hmm. um, so in addition to parents paying basically $50 for an eight-week session to come out to our programs, um, we get the kids cor course access 
to be able to go out even when they're not with us and to be able to get uh, tea times at the courses that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, and, and typically most of the time they're free of charge or maybe $5 for a tea time for kids. Um, we give the kids equipment if they don't have golf clubs. Uh, and, and we're really breaking down those uh, economic barriers that a lot of people have to the game. Okay. Um, we know it's a great sport. We just want to be able to introduce it to as many kids as we can and we eliminate those barriers and people like Luke really understand that and invest the time at their golf courses to be able to get a program like ours out to be able to, to do this with the kids. Well, Chip, before we have to break, I know your website is www.thefirstteenola.org. Yep. All the information on First Tee can be found at that website, classes, how to become a member, how to join, and all that information. And, and then we're going to have you back on the show again because I know you've got a big golf tournament that you mm -hmm. do every year. Yep. We don't want to talk about that now. Okay. So we'll have you on again to talk about the golf tournament. Great. Sounds good. Welcome. Fantastic. Thanks Thank so you. Thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana again. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We've really got a good show lined up. Our next guest is Amanda McFillin. Amanda is the assistant director at the wonderful New Orleans Historic Museum. Amanda, welcome to the show. Thank and you so much. Just love having guests on from uh, the Historic Museum. You guys just do such an absolutely incredible job. And I don't want to offend you by saying I think you're one of the hidden jewels of the city, but I think you are. I mean, I just don't think a lot of people know a lot of the things that you guys do down there. You just do a lot of good work. Thank you so much. Well, you've got a lot going on, so I'm just going to say fire away. Sure. Well, I wanted to come here and tell everyone about a special exhibition that we have up right now. It's called From Cameo to Close-Up, Louisiana in Film. And basically, it's celebrating Louisiana's long history of making movies here in Louisiana. I mean, I think most people know that right now we're a huge, you know, film destination, a lot of movies sure. being filmed Hollywood here. South. Hollywood of the South, exactly. But maybe people might not know that we've been filming movies here for almost 100 years. Wow. We have a long history. And so this exhibition has vintage and rare movie posters from that entire span of 100 years. And it's really fun. And I think, you know, people will recognize some of the classics like Interview with a Vampire, Streetcar Named Desire. But there's some really unusual ones that maybe people haven't heard of. And it'll be really fun for them to come and see it and get to know about our history. So you're going to, are you showing clips from these movies or is it just posters of the movies themselves? Or? Well, mostly it's just the posters, but we do have a, a computer set up mm -hmm. with um, a few previews of some of these films. So people can, like, if they're not familiar with the film, uh, film they can go over to the computer and watch the previews and kind of get an idea of what the movie's about, see some of the actors and some of the acting. But we also have a, a film series that we're doing right now. So every month, the last Saturday of every month from now through November, we're showing one of the movies that's featured in the exhibition. Uh, the whole movie? The, the entire whole movie? movie, yeah, absolutely. And we were talking uh, before the uh, set started here that you're going to be showing the original Tarzan. Yes. Yes. You know that you know what the date was on the original Tarzan. The original Tarzan was filmed here in Morgan City in 1918. Morgan City in 19. And of course, yes. you asked me if I knew who the Tarzan was, and I said Johnny Wasmiller, and that's t n nowhere near who the first guy. No, was. no, I think he was more from like the 50s. That's but incredible. <laughs> yeah, the original actor was uh, a man named Elmo Lincoln. Elmo, and I'm, it's yep. got to be silent movie, right? So. It is a silent movie. Yeah, and we're going to be showing that on October 1st at six o'clock. That'll be a Wednesday. And absolutely free. Absolutely free. It's at 410 Charter Street at our Williams Research Center. And we'd love to have people come out to celebrate this. We recently just acquired the movie poster from this movie. It's rare. We're so excited to have it. It's on display right now so people can come help us celebrate getting this really valuable object wow. you know, in the museum. Yeah. That is, that, and so it's the actual, you have the actual movie poster yes. from the first Tarzan movie, which was shot in Morgan City. In Morgan City. That is unbelievable. Yeah. I, I just, I can't picture Morgan City having a jungle or anything, but I guess. Yeah, I guess it was the closest were. jungle they could get to, you know, wow. in 1918. Yeah. Well, Amanda, uh -huh. uh, real quick before we have to go, your website website is www.hnoc.org. We're going to put that on the screen. Yes. All information about the Historic New Orleans collection can be found on that website. Yes. Movie times and it's more than movies. Let's, let's be honest. There's a right. lot more than that. So all the information is on the website. And again, yeah. mm -hmm. just want to point out everything is absolutely free. Absolutely free. We'd love to have people That's come great. out. Amanda, thank you so much for being on the show. We love having you guys. Please come back as often as you want and give us updates on the collection. All right. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
welcome back to Across Louisiana. One of the things that we enjoy about the show is, is providing valuable information and Adele Bergman is with Belleville Assisted Living and you guys just, I mean, you do such a great job over there at the Assisted Living. Talk a little bit about the community real quick before we get into some events that are going to be taking place. Yeah, we're Belleville Assisted Living. We're senior housing for people 55 and older um, and we have a community of people that live in apartments um, and get support from us if they need it or can live independently mm -hmm. if that's there. And you're in Algiers Point, I believe, right? We're in Algiers Point. We renovated an old elementary school, Belleville Elementary, mm -hmm. and um, are now living in where once a place where people used to go to school. Oh. Um, and we have people that actually live with us that either their children went there or we have one lady who's a PTA president living with us. Now that's got to be so pretty great. neat. Mm -hmm. huh. Are you full right now or you have openings? And We have openings right now. Um, we'd love people to come see the, our community, come be a part of it. And just even if you just want to see a great building that's been restored, mm -hmm. we love showing off our building. Well, your website is uh, www.bellevilleno.org. We'll put that on the screen. So all the information about the community can be found on the website as far as getting information on how to uh, rent one of the homes and or the apartments and, and, and like that. All that can be found on the website, right? Yeah, the website Okay, well, you is got, great. you've got a big event coming up, Senior Health and Fitness event. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we're doing a Senior Health and Wellness Symposium. So we're bringing together a group of people to just help elders learn about their health and what it all entails. So we've got um, a group with Live to be Healthy talking about physical fitness. We've got um, Smiles to Go coming out to do oral care. Uh, people from West Jeff talking about nutrition. Uh, we have people talking about depression and how to overcome it and just so many things that you mm -hmm. think about that go into health and wellness and just putting it all into one morning event to have people come and join and learn information. And, and I was asking you earlier, and uh, you don't have to be a senior citizen to take advantage of some of these programs, right? I mean, they're free, they're open to the public. Yeah, so we um, on a regular basis have exercise classes Monday and Wednesday and Friday with this group, and it's open to the public. We love for people to come and see it, and it's, you know, it's, it's based off of what people can do. Mm -hmm. So even if I go and attend with the residents, I'm I'm getting a lot of exercise during the class and I'm sitting next to someone in a wheelchair getting exercise and other people that are just coming in and getting some stability, um, just some social aspects. Yeah, and, and you so. know what, I, I, like, I like the community aspect of that because there's just nothing more important than everybody, you know, living around each other and conversation and activities together. And, and I, that's got to be so helpful uh, to the residents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's a major part of why people come to congregate living when they retire. If you can't drive, you end up sitting at home just watching TV, not enjoying the life, not getting out, mm -hmm. not having any social interaction. Moving into a place where you have your own apartment and your own space still, you have that available, but you also can add in that social interaction. Yeah, that's um, great. And education is so huge, so we love having these symposiums to have people come out, just learn more information, and recognize what they can do to just keep enjoying life. Well, Adele, again, the website is www.bellevilleno.org. All information, activities, uh, information on how to live uh, in the community can be found on this website. Adele, thank you so much for being on the show. Please continue to come back and give us updates from time to time. You guys do a wonderful job. We appreciate having you. Well, we appreciate having you give us this time. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. So happy to have one of our new guests on the show, Johnny Damiano. Johnny is with the Men's Club for Metairie Academy for Advanced Study. Say that three times without messing hey, that up. Exactly. Johnny, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Hey, tell, it's your first time to be on the show, so tell us a little bit about the Men's Club and, and kind of the mission of your organization and some sure. of the programs you guys are involved in. Sure. Well, uh, Metairie Academy for Advanced Studies over on Metairie Road uh, in 2011 was nominated as a National Blue Ribbon School. Um, wow, congratulations and, for that. And uh, it's one of the highest honors an American school can receive. There's tip, it's an elementary school, of course, through fifth grade. Typically only schools, uh, four to five elementary schools in the state each year achieve that honor. So, um, and you can only get it every five years. You can only apply for mm -hmm. it every five years, should I say. So um, with that, the school is very high performing, uh, challenging to get into. And 
the men's Challenging club. Challenging because grades? Well, and... it's a testing system to get in. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's a, it's a public magnet school. So because it is um, a free school, if you will, mm -hmm. as opposed to some of the uh, private schools we have, which tuition is very high. Uh, the demand is very high to get well, in. Well, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I was going to ask if it was a private school. But it's no, it, it's, it's public school funded by uh, the Jefferson Parish Public School System. And as a result of that, um, a couple of years ago, we started this men's club, which is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, in order to sort of supplement um, the budget that the mm -hmm. school has so that it will have as, as many resources as we can we can we can help it have. And by doing so, by doing uh, events like this golf tournament, we're able to help them with educational tools, uh, facility improvements, uh, and the like. Mm -hmm. So uh, the golf tournament is really a fundraiser for the school, correct? It is actually a fundraiser for two schools, uh, Metairie Academy and Gretna Number 2 for advanced studies, which in 2012 also achieved um, blue ribbon, national blue ribbon honor status. Um, and we got together the two men's clubs of these two schools. They're the equivalent on the West Bank. They're both Jefferson Parish Public Schools. We got together and decided this would be a great idea for us both to build some camaraderie mm -hmm. amongst the schools, and support each other, as well as raise some, some money to support the budgets of the schools. Well, and again, point out that our public schools are not private, so you don't have a lot of funding coming in uh, like most private schools do from parents and things like that. Johnny, the website that you have, we're going to put this on the screen, is mustangmensclub at gmail.com. All the information about the golf tournament can be found on that website because I know it's going to be at Lakewood, which is an incredible golf course. It's a great course, Steve. Um, in fact, um, a year ago, this will be our second annual tournament. A year ago when we had the tournament there, it rained all morning, and by noon that, that place was dry as a bone. Oh, yeah. It, it really drains well. It's a great course. Um, they're a good partner with us in helping us put this event on on September 12th. Uh, tee off is at noon. Mm -hmm. And um, if you send an email to mustangmensclub at gmail.com, we'll respond immediately with all the information. So it's not really a website, it's more of an email address. It's an email address, sort. correct. And um, we're still, last year we had over 150 golfers. Wow. There's great food, uh, great beverages, both um, kids' drinks and adult drinks alike. Uh, we have New Orleans Hamburger and Seafood Company will be out there. We have um, a Sunray Grill. Um, there'll be a, a car, um, we're trying to give a car away, but wow, sponsored by Les and Chevrolet. A lot of other prizes and gift certificates, um, if people can come out. Um, we are looking for golfers, teams, sponsors, as well as vendors. If mm -hmm. you have a, you know, food or uh, drink that you'd like to come out there and, and have people try, And again, let it, us it's, know. It's, it's a wonderful golf course. Johnny, congratulations on the blue ribbon status on both schools. That, that just... It says a lot for the school system. It says a lot for Jefferson Parish School. So congratulations on that. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Please come back from time to time and give us updates on the school. And good luck on your golf tournament. Be happy to do so. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, one of the things we do on the show is we provide information about a lot of organizations. And one of the organizations that we could not be more proud of is one of our very own Cox Conserves. Very happy to have Jeremy Terrio in the studio today. Jeremy is a public relations specialist with Cox out of Baton Rouge. And the program, Jeremy, is just phenomenal. I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is your second year this to do is the our, program? This is our second year that I've been doing the program, but it's been done before. It was actually done in just New Orleans in 2010. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember in New Orleans we did it after, uh, it was after Katrina, mm -hmm. so it probably was around 210. But I know the program has also, I mean, it's a national program. It's right. not just something that's just to this area only. So uh, again, welcome to the show. Thank you. Talk a little bit about the program and, and the most important thing about this program and the reason you're here today is people watching can actually vote for the winner. That's correct. So uh, Cox Conserves Heroes has been actually going on since 2008. And this has been sort of a cooperative, uh, you know, endeavor between Cox Enterprises, which is you know, our mm -hmm. parent company, and the Trust for Public Land, which has a huge presence here in New Orleans. They actually have an office, I believe, off of Barone. Okay. Um, so since 2008, they've, do, they've been doing the program, and they've given over $400,000 to environmental nonprofits through this program. And the program recognizes volunteers who 
you know, basically improve mm -hmm. uh, publicly accessible spaces. And I always tell people it can be something as, as small as a litter campaign or as big as restoring a shoreline. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a wide gamut of people that have come in as nominees. And, and right now, uh, the voting is actually opening up from the public who can see, they can choose from our top three finalists okay. that we've had for this year. So, so the three finalists have been picked by somebody else. Right, okay. we actually, we take all the nominations, so we had our nomination period from uh, June 22nd to the middle of July. Okay. And that's when the public can go in and, and nominate other people. Um, we take all those nominations, we have a judging panel of environmental experts throughout the state of Louisiana mm -hmm. who come together and they narrow down those 10 to three and they have to, you know, there's a point system mm -hmm. and everything and then those three people are contacted and uh, once we do a little background on them, we realize that we we go ahead and we have videos made of them, and that's the phase we're in. Okay, now. so uh, to get to the voting site, and we'll we'll put this on the screen. The mm -hmm. website is it's coxconservesheroes.com. Okay, and all you do is select Louisiana, and it'll bring you, and you can see those three strong nominees that we have for this year. And so you, as the person watching, you can actually see all three of the videos, which is about the organization that yes. was selected. And then there's uh, a button or a space to right. click. Right. Underneath all the videos there is going to be a, a voting button and all you do is select which one you thought had the most compelling project and enter in your email so we don't have any duplicate votes there. <laughs> and uh, that's it. You think people would actually do that? I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so last year, can, who, who, who was the winner last Bart year? Bart Everson. From New Orleans? Bart Everson is from New Orleans. We always get great candidates from New Orleans. Um, he started the Lafitte Greenway, which is connecting everywhere from Bayou St. John mm -hmm. all the way to the French Quarter. So there's a lot, you know, there's the Treme, there's a lot right. of vital neighborhoods that are going to be linked by a uh, 3.1 mile green corridor. Wow. Now, on, on the voting, Jeremy, is it Anybody in Louisiana can vote, or anybody in the country, or anyone throughout, actually, the entire world can vote. Can vote on the um, site. Okay. Nominees have to come from Acadiana, okay. Baton Rouge, or New Orleans. Okay. But and that's the point I want to make. You don't just have to be a Louisiana resident to vote. That's correct. Okay. Knowing that our show is seen worldwide, we want to make that point clear. You guys have that advantage <laughs> in New Orleans to air it worldwide, thanks to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Jeremy. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. But most importantly, thank you for your commitment to the program because, as as we all know these things, I'm not going to say that they're hard to do, but they take a lot of time, energy, and effort. And I know for a fact that you put a lot of your heart into the program. Mm -hmm. You make it a success. So from all of us at Cox, thank you for what you do. Congratulations thank on you. the second year. I look forward to a third year. We'd love to have you come back on the show before the actual contest starts uh, next time around. We sure. talk about the show, how to get involved and more information on that. Good luck, and the thank award you, ceremony is real quick. Yeah, we're actually choosing it September 18th. September 18th. 3 to 5 p.m. in Baton Rouge. Okay, great. Jeremy, congratulations again. You've been watching Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.